Do you need help developing basic life skills within your special needs child? To make this video series helpful for parents, teachers, and care providers of children with autism and other special needs, a large amount of time was spent conducting research. From skills lists created through the research, there was an interesting discovery that skills difficult to develop in children with autism and other special needs are skills that are often poorly developed in many college students as well. It is apparent that within many of today's teenagers who possess what is considered average or above intelligence and physical capabilities exists a deficiency. This demonstrated that the information in this and other upcoming videos may be helpful to any child regardless of age, intelligence level, or physical capabilities. Whether dealing with a teenager who freshly graduated high school or a child with autism or other special needs, time management is a skill which needs attention. Even teenagers entering college or the workforce have problems setting an alarm clock, waking themselves up on time, creating a daily calendar with a to-do list, and following other daily routines. Considering that many special needs children have problems with the concept of time, consistent commitment to a list of daily routines promotes an understanding of time and how it is used. Skills dealing with personal care and safety are strengthened through daily routines involving hygiene, i.e. bathing, brushing one's teeth, or washing one's hands after using the bathroom, before handling food, and before eating. Community living also needs attention for teenagers going to college, teenagers entering the workforce, or a special needs child. Varied only by the size of town, neighborhood, school, or the local region, children have a limited exposure to the differences in gender, age, ethnic background, and religious preference. This exposure is lessened in children who are homeschooled or children with special needs who are isolated in public schools. It is far different for a child going with a parent to the store, car repair shop, post office, doctor's office, or hospital than it is for a teenager to go to the same places for his or her first time alone and interact with a diversity of people to accomplish a task. This difficulty is further compounded if money and shopping skills were not learned at an earlier age. When discussing doctor's offices and hospitals, life skills involving community living and personal care and safety are used. An injured person must recognize a problem decide whether he or she requires an ambulance to rush him or her to the hospital, can wait long enough to go to the doctor's office, or treat it by him or herself. Basic life skills involving personal care and safety overlap skills relating to food and nutrition. It's important to teach children that not all diets are appropriate for all people. Peter H.R. Green, M.D., director of the Celiac Disease Center at Columbia University, explains to webman.com, for people with celiac disease, a gluten-free diet is essential, but for others, unless people are very careful, a gluten-free diet can lack vitamins, minerals, and fiber. It is important to teach children to recognize that healthy eating habits will make them feel better and to pay attention to when something they eat makes them feel bad. For example, a child needs to recognize that when he or she has a headache, chest pains, nausea, or weakness, there is a problem and not that Catherine Zaretsky of the Mayo Clinic lists these as some reactions to MSG. When linking time management, community living, personal care and safety, and food and nutrition together, one can see the importance of beginning to develop basic life skills in a child at an early age, no matter what intelligence level or physical capabilities. The next video in the Basic Life Skills series focuses on personal care and safety in which we look at first aid, hygiene, daily routines for self-independence, and personal safety concerns when in public environments. Other video series topics on physical fitness and development, sensory stimulation, and creative and pretend play may also interest you. Along with our videos, you can find articles on our blog and products on our websites which support developing these skills 